Welcome to Magpie, I'm Miss Eva, and today I'm going to read you a story of Miyuki, a little girl that comes from the Pacific Islands, where the author of this book, Roxane Marie Galliez, has traveled and brought so many wonderful images from. The book is illustrated by Seng Sun Ratanavan, a French illustrator, and I need to tell you, if I was to live in a place inside of a book, one book, that would be it. So everything that you see over here, the fish, the carp fish, I mark bite from the story. And I'm going to teach you today how to make that craft. Let's meet Miyuki first. Time for bed, Miyuki. How many times do you have to hear time for bed, little one, before you decide to go to bed? Well, with a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions, and the Todd jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? <gasps> wow, wow. Miyuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. Grandfather is trying to get her to go to bed. Miyuki, it's time for bed. Not yet, Grandfather. Look, the sun hasn't set yet, and I still have so much to do. What do you have to do that cannot wait until tomorrow, Miyuki? Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the Dragonfly Queen, Miyuki said. She chose to garden, the gar our garden to visit tomorrow, and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court, Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor her there under the cherry tree? Miyuki asked politely. All right, my Miyuki, and then it's time for bed. So, Grandfather helped Miyuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Miyuki, it's time for bed. But, Grandfather, I must water my vegetables. All right, Miyuki, Grandfather sighed. Water your vegetables, and then it's time for bed. Miyuki watered her carrots, turnips, radishes, and everything else she could reach. How many times did Miyuki go from the well to the garden? Even Grandfather stopped counting. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete and your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bed. Grandfather, I cannot sleep now, Miyuki cried. Grandfather, I must gather the whole snail family together. If they're not gathered together, I will not be able to sleep. So Grandfather helped Miyuki look for the snails and led them all home. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete, your vegetable garden is watered, the snails are gathered, it's time for bed. But Grandfather, I can't stop now, it's a cold night and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. Patiently, Grandfather waited as Miyuki covered their cat with a warm blanket. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, Grandfather, we must dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for, the sh for shining so nicely. So, Grandfather and Miyuki danced. And then Miyuki <gasps> yawned. <sighs> Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered, the snails are gathered, the cut is covered, and we dance the last day of the day, last dance of the day. It's time for bed, Grandfather said warily. Miyuki's eyes were growing heavy, but there was still work to be done. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair, and what will the stars say if I am not in my best pajamas when they visit me? So Grandfather prepared Miyuki's bath, brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. Then Miyuki yawned again, and Grandfather yawned too. Miyuki, 
The canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. We dance the last dance of the day. You're, ba you've ba you're bathed and brushed and dressed. It's time for bed. This time, Miyuki didn't argue. She took grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather tucked Miyuki into bed and kissed her on her forehead. Grandfather, she whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Miyuki, I have not forgotten. I will tell you a story. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions and a toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? Shh! I think Miyuki has fallen asleep. The end. All right, little magpies, time to magpie some treasures from the book. Today we're magpieing koi fish. To make our koi fish, you're going to need toilet paper roll, a piece of string, that's optional, scissors, definitely scissors, a pencil to draw your pattern, some glue, and pieces of colorful paper. You can recycle some paper bags, anything you have around that will add color to your fish. So let's begin. This roll is about, okay, I'm gonna not measure too much. I just thought this piece of paper is going to do. So I have a little bit of extra on both sides and I'm going to put glue over my toilet paper roll. So now I'm going to roll the paper around my toilet paper roll and all the excess pipe paper that I didn't bother measuring, I'm gonna cut now, okay? There we go, and I'm gonna put glue right here so I can overlap the paper and leave it to dry. I'm gonna leave it at this. So you can use some clips if you like. Um, you will definitely need clips if you are working with fabric, like I put fabric on most of the fish that I made. See the ones in the net and right here, I used fabric and fabric um, actually takes more time to glue for the set, for the glue to set. Moving on to the mouth. I've got some red paper for the mouth, but there is golden. There is yellow, anything you have. So that probably is going to be half of my finger. That will be the width of that paper. I am not measuring again because I'd like, I'd like to have every little fish to be different. Okay. Okay, that's ready to make the mouth. Now that this set I'm going to cut the little pieces, all the extra. I'm going to cut into that all the way until the scissors meet the toilet paper roll. So there I am cutting. This will help the little pieces, once you fold them, they will overlap each other and will not create the unnecessary creases. So glue goes on to the little bits that are now wobbly, okay? Both sides, glue, 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 glue. A little bit of glue, okay? All right. And now I'm gonna bend this in. See how nicely? This way, the edge is nice and smooth ready for the lips. Okay. 
Now I'm moving on to lips. I'm going to put glue on one, on the very edge of the fish, fish's body. And I will stick the lips. If you want, you can have the lips thin, then you're gonna just put it on the very edge. You can have them fuller, fatter, okay? Then you're gonna put it deeper. All the excess paper cut. You don't wanna spend time measuring. You wanna make your fish unique. Okay. All right, time to repeat the same thing. You cut the extra paper. Look at that, when all the extra red now makes for a beautiful mouth, so you can look into it. See, like here. Okay, time for the fins and the tail. I'm going to use all beautiful Japanese origami paper and also golden paper for the fins. See, I'm using paper that I've already used once before. So I'm folding this paper. Let's just recycle samples of and uh oh, look at me. I'm not even drawing the shape of the tail. I let my imagination go wild. And right here you can glue them together. And then you can put the tail in here. However, that will be the tail. However, if you like your koi fish that in Japan, the koi fish are form of a kite. You can cut a stripe of paper. I folded lots of pieces of paper together. So I can cut one stripe of paper about a centimeter wide. I'm gonna cut this all together. I have very nice thin paper that in the wind, when the wind blows, it will just move nicely. Okay. I'm gonna fold it in half or I can even cut it so I can now form into a lovely tail that will be floating in the air. Okay, there is my tail. I showed you two types, as you can see. Okay, I've got two types over here as well. It's your fishy, you decide which one you like more. Now, the trick is to put glue on all all around or put it on the edge of the paper so quite a generous bit and whoopsie I'm a bit too generous and now you're gonna have to fold this if you don't have a clip you're gonna have to hold it with your fingers a little bit and make sure that it's stuck together okay that it's set because I need to show you how to do the rest and I want to hold you until it dries I prepared the clips okay and so we can move on to making the mm, pins my golden paper that I'm going to fold and by the folding folding it in half will allow me to have two identical fins. I can draw them. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's why I am going to make it smaller and not really follow my drawing. And this one, I'm going to put over the paper and trace and without tracing over it, I'll just follow my pattern one more time with scissors so they can be identical on both sides of the koi fish. Right. See? Flop, flop. 
You can glue those, you can leave it like that. I want to have the impression of the floating fins, so I'm going to leave it because I like that look. And on the other side, it will take a moment for them to, for the glue to set and for them to be stuck for good, okay? You can then use, you can hold it for a little bit with your hands or use your clips. See, the tail is ready. I'll use my clips for now because I don't have the time to wait. You don't have the time. I think you would leave me by the time these dry. So I have them right here. And because I like the pink in the tail, I'm gonna use my origami paper, fold it in half again, maybe into, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra little fins that will have this beautiful Japanese pattern that you also see in Miyuki's book. Oh, how, how much I would love to live there and have dresses in all these patterns. I'd love to embroider embro all of them and just, oh, beautiful, beautiful. You can see those patterns on the kimonos of the Japanese women. You can see the koi fish in lots of art. See, a little dot of glue to attach the beautiful fins, oh, how beautiful. I might just add little dots of that pink here as well. Just, just like this fishy. So that wasn't planned, but I really like that pattern. So I'm gonna add a little dot. See, because my paper is folded, oops, I, I get two dots in one cutting. Okay, hey, little blue. Sharing glue, little sisters. You can make as many dots as you like. You can make squares, trapezoids, hexagons, anything you like. And now time for the eyes. Again, I'm gonna fold my paper, I'm recycling. So it's not really black, but brown will do. Again, I am looking at my fishy. Okay, that's about the size of eye that I would like to have because I folded my paper. I've got two identical eyes. I'm gonna put a drop of glue. And you know what? I just thought about making the eyelids of my fishy in the color of pink fins. That's gonna be original. Mm, fishy. Okay, you can, you don't have to make the eyelets or maybe a little bit of gold. Why don't we do a little bit of you know, golden eyelets? That's a semi, okay, that's semi-circle. That's half of a circle or you can actually cut a circle and cut it in half. Let's see, will that do? Yeah, that fishy looks sleepy to me with such big eyelids, heavy eyelids like Miyuki's when she was refusing to go to bed and had all the important things to do. You know that story, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let the clips rest. And there is my fishy. I'll let it dry a little longer, but there you have it. Make as many as you wish, hang them around your house because they bring you luck. They bring health and prosperity to the children in your home. So make as many as you like. Every time you use that toilet paper and you have a toilet paper roll, you know what to do with it. It'll bring you luck. So I hope you enjoyed it and you're inspired to make another and another and another and another one. Subscribe to Magpie so you can come back and we can work together and read together again. See you soon. Bye.